Hello everyone, this is Greg Larson, and I would like to welcome you to another Scyther Quick Tip. Today's Quick Tip is Trimble X7 Raw Data Storage. Trimble Perspective does a great job of handling its data in real time. It's, it's recording scans, it's registering them, it's, it's colorizing scans with pictures, and when you're all done with it, you go into the main menu, and you finalize and export the project, and that exports the whole job to a flash drive or a folder on the T10 in a finished product that is ready to be imported into TVC. But I know a lot of you are going to have questions about where the raw data is before that happens. So if we go looking through the C drive, we will find a program folder called Trimble Perspective and a subfolder called DB. You will find the job list. Now, it is encrypted. And I think that's because Trimble Perspective is doing some proprietary things here to organize all of its data and do real-time registration. If you were to come in and delete one of these files, uh, you could probably mess that process up. So it's best just to leave these files alone. Now you can see some of the TZF files, which are scanned files, and you could pull them out individually and they will show up in TBC, but they're not gonna be registered. So let Perspective do its job. To find the raw data, go to the X7 itself and pull the SD card, and then insert it into a PC. And on these SD cards, uh, you do find a nicely organized job list with folders and, and even deleted jobs. So this is a great backup, just in case something happens to your T10. But when we go into one of these job folders, we see our scan numbers, uh, along with the time and date. and We've got a lot of good data here. Now, I did pull these into TBC. They are not registered. So again, this is just a backup. Um, so if you want the registered stuff, let Perspective do its job. Just don't mess with its program folders. And now, as we use this system, the card is going to fill up. Now, I would probably back this up or back up your data another way. But we do need to start clearing these SD cards as they fill up. And you can do it in a PC. Or you can get back into Trimble Perspective if the card is still on the X7. So if we go into the instrument management here, uh, it tells us how much storage is left, how many scans are left. Now I can't click on that icon like I can with the Wi-Fi. So I click on Wi-Fi, I get some quick settings here. So with this icon, I have to go into the settings gear icon. And here's our storage. Uh, area here. Again, how much we have left, how many scans we have left, and we have three options. Erase all scans, check disk, and format the SD card. So if I click on erase all scans, luckily it doesn't do it right away. I can say yes or no. Uh, again, this will clear the SD card. There could be bits of information left on there. Check disk. I guess if you want to check the health of the SD card, you can do that as well. Again, yes or no. And then format the card. This just kind of erases everything on the card and reformats it to for a nice clean slate. Again, yes or no. So there's kind of there are some fail safes there. You know, I would only really do or try one of these options if I'm running out of data and I have it all backed up somewhere else. And if we're starting a job over, we need to clear the card. Thanks for watching. For more videos, you can visit our training and support page at SilerGeo.com and be sure to look us up and subscribe on all major social media platforms.